Hello, I just thought I'd show you some examples of how I use Maya's shrink wrap deformer. The first example is going to be uh, for retopology. So you see I have this object here which has uh, unusable uh, topology. And on the inside I have a poly cylinder. I've deleted the caps off of both of the ends of the poly cylinder. The reason for this is that I'm going to use the vertex normals of this object to project onto the scanned object and the vertex normals are calculated as an average of the face normals which surround it. So if I didn't delete the caps these normals at the top would point in a 45 degree ang angle and I don't really want that. So I'll select the poly cylinder and I'll select the actual scanned object and just come to deform shrink wrap and make sure that the projection is set to vertex normal and just project and you can see it gives us something which is very nice and clean and we can actually move this around after the projection so I could put it up towards the knee and even scale it out and that would give us something nice to work with maybe we could continue sculpting with this or even it uh, could be ready to rig the next example is to model an eye socket. So this is a nice character, but unfortunately it doesn't have an eye socket modeled inside. So what I've done is selected an edge loop here and just extruded it back and then merged the vertices together. And essentially what I want to do is project these vertices onto the eyeball. So I'll just grow my selection and I'm going to create a set first for later on and I'll just average the vertices a few times to get them more smooth because I'm going to use the vertex normal method again so I want to make sure that the normals are pointing in a nice even direction. So I'll select my set and just press the down arrow to get that uh, vertex selection. I'll select the eyeball, deform, shrink wrap, vertex normal, and there you go. So it's not perfect, but uh, it's certainly a good uh, starting point. The last example is going to be a rigging example. So you can use the shrink wrap to do a sort of a, a collision system. So I have a bike here and a very basic rig. So I just have a mover control. I have these things which I'm calling projectors. So these projectors are tiny little triangles at the base of each wheel. And we also have these rivets which are attached to each of the triangles and I'm aiming from this rivet the front rivet back to the back rivet and I have this empty group here which I'm calling the output and this output is constrained in position to the front and the back uh, follicles or rivets and is orient constrained to the front tire rivet so now what I can do is if I project these triangles onto my ground mesh that should update the transforms of these rivets which in turn will update the output and I've just done a basic parent constraint from the bike to this output here so I'll just select the front tire projector, ground constrain, oops not constrain, deform, shrink wrap and I don't think I need bidirectional or reverse on, let's just check, no that worked fine. You might need to play around with the your settings depending on the orientation of your um, triangle that you're using, I'll just apply that. 
So now if that's worked, I should be able to move this bike over this uh, bump here and it should update. And there you go. So we have uh, some sort of collision there and I can rotate this round and it will work in, in any direction. And you could use this for uh, cars or any other vehicle or bike, motorbike that you need to make inter uh, interact with uh, with the ground. So I hope you found those uh, examples useful. And uh, yeah, thanks.